Yep, that music brings back memories. So here we are, uh, Sky Sanctuary. So this is the level that represents uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles for this game. It's over here. Oh, nothing. I yeah, just look at Sky Sanctuary. It just looks so. It looks so pretty. Oh, I pressed the stomp button by accident. Oh, but there's a life here. Oh uh, yeah, I remember when I played Sonic. Remember when we when I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles and we were going through Sky Sanctuary? It was a pivotal a uh, pivotal moment in that game's story. You know, we were racing to catch up to the Death Egg to stop Eggman and his plans. Look at all these egg robos here. The good old egg robos. Ah oh, man. I like bouncing on these clouds. More egg robos. Whoa! I like the remix for this. Oh my god. Hey look, there's a death egg! So that's what the death egg looks like in modern graphics. Since I died, I don't get the S rank. Which, that's something I like about this game. You essentially... You do have to get an S rank, or you do have to do it without dying to get an S rank. That's the only way. Well, pretty much if you get a perfect run, you're, you get an automatic uh, rank upgrade, or rank increase, I should say. But anyways, let's do this with Classic Sonic now. Oh yeah, I like the sound of that. Sounds a lot more like the classic, like the Genesis version of this song. Yeah, so I got. Hey, look! And then there's a Death Egg getting ready to launch right behind us, just like in the original. 
Oh, nice. Oh, God. Whoa. No way up there? I don't know if I want to risk that. Whatever. So that is something about, so when it comes to classic Sonic, that is something that Sega tried to do. They tried their best to replicate the physics of the Genesis era games, but they couldn't get a perfect one-to-one -one recreation. And it's just due to the Hedgehog engine, because they used the Hedgehog engine for this game, and the Hedgehog engine was not made to... It was made to prioritize like 3D games and since Son since obviously classic Sonic plays like 2D, I guess recreating the 2D physics just was challenging for them, especially since they wanted to use the hedgehog engine. But even though it doesn't even though the physics aren't necessarily one to one yeah, even though they're not exactly the same as the Genesis uh, physics, they it's pretty darn close. And more so than anything, I say it with like the momentum, because you know the classic Sonic games had heavy emphasis on momentum, uh, and this game it just seems like with classic Sonic he can't. There isn't a lot of momentum physics, or the momentum physics aren't as heavy in this game as they were in uh, the Genesis games. Hey, you got the classic invincibility thing. I will say, Sky Sanctuary looks really different in, in the modern- OH MY GOD! That's why I shouldn't spin dash so much. I'm so used to like Sonic being like- I don't know, I'm just so used to the modern games by now that I just really want to breeze through these levels and that's not the way to do it. I mean, yeah, I know Sonic, even classic Sonic is about- Using momentum to skip over sections and whatnot, but uh, well, first of all, you need to have great memorization of level design to do it, and I don't since it has been a while since it actually has been a long time since I last played this game. I think I last played it when I still had my PS3, which was a while ago. Or I should say, I don't- I think the last time I played this game was when I... Before I got my PS4. Which was a long time ago. Actually, that's not true. I know I played it a couple times even after I got my PS4. But still. Uh, you guys remember this set piece from the original? Nice. That did take me a while though, so I don't think I did so good. I will say though, this game is pretty generous with the ranking score. Like, it took me 4 minutes and I still get an A. I think like you really have to suck. Like, you really have to try to suck to get a D rank. Or even a C rank. Could be that these are the first levels and they're just easier too. Thanks, Sonic. You did a good job back there. Hey, did you gain weight? Sonic! Thanks for the assist, Sonic. I hope everyone else is alright too. Uh, poor, 
Poor classic Sonic. He got made fun of his weight and now he's insecure about it. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do it with Sonic. Or with classic Sonic just because Knuckles says that. Uh, let's see. Speed, technique. Uh, yeah, okay. So before we can progress, we do need to do these like bonus or these extra challenges. I think we gotta do at least three. It doesn't matter which ones. Okay, Let's see if we can do it. 130 for S rank. Yeah, so for these bonus challenges, or these side challenges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you. Oh man, it's solely based on time. I already lost the one ring I had. Can you believe that? Nope, I'm not liking this. Uh, can I please? Thank you. Ah! Oh yeah, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I knew it! Oh my god! Oh man, I just got hit by that thing. Alright, I'm doing better this time. I am actually moving pretty fast despite not diving. I hear the end. Oh man. Nice. No. What do you mean halfway point cleared half the missions? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got a first boss fight here. For some reason I can't make this jump. Oh, I can't do this yet from the looks of it. Alright, let's do a challenge in Green Hill. Yeah, so we gotta do these challenges, the boss gate keys. Uh you gotta do one of the challenge acts in either act two or three of each level. So how about with this one we help out? 
Knuckles. First one to the finish wins. Oh, how's that fair? You're not bad. Hey, it's a remix of Supersonic Racing. Uh, you guys won't be familiar with this uh, if you haven't played this game because I didn't cover this game on my channel. This song is from Sonic R. It's a it's a spin-off game that came out for the Saturn and it's a Sonic racing game. And the reason why I didn't cover it, well, I really just chose not to do a lot of the spin-offs. I know I have done a couple, but that game, like, uh, you know, I've never played it because I never owned a Saturn. And it's just not really all that important for the main story of Sonic or whatever. But I do plan on playing this. I do plan on doing the spin-off games that I missed. Blast shows up. Nice. Alright, so we gotta do. Now we gotta do a challenge here in Sky Sanctuary. Okay, go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, like the warp pads from. Yeah, the warp pads. I know there's a warp pad there that I just missed, but whatever. Aw, oh, man. Can you please stop? I don't think I'm gonna get an S rank. God damn it, especially since I just fell from that. Yep, that's why. Oh man. Wow, it was right there, too. What? I was gonna say, why do I keep getting that? But I don't think that's a trophy. I think it's just, like, showing up every time I make progress to that trophy. Yeah, artwork. Alright, let's go back here. And now we can talk to Classic Metal Sonic. Face me if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. Okay, so we have a rival battle here. Yeah, here we are. This is 
a rematch with Metal Sonic in Metal, or uh, not Metal, in uh, Stardust Speedway Bad Future. You guys remember that battle? It was one of the, it was a very epic moment back in the Genesis era. See, look at that. This is this is Stardust Speedway. It looks well. It looks nice, except for the except for the fact that this is the Bad Future version of it. You know, a lot of people have said that because this level is a uh, oh man. Because this level is the bad future, or the bad future is used in this game, and you know, this is basically a game exploring Sonic's past, people think that the bad future is, uh, that the bad future is a canon, is a canon, or the, yeah, the bad future ending is the canon ending of Sonic CD. But honestly, I think people are just re people really just read way too into it. I think the only reason they chose to use the bad future, the bad future setting, as well as like the bad future song, is just because it's it's the more it's more iconic. It's more iconic than uh than the good future. That's just that's what I think. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Well, here's the Sonic CD dedication in this game. It's a boss, but no level. We do get the first chaos in though. Hey, what does Metal even have to say? I will battle you as many times as it is necessary. Oh, there's a hard mode? Damn. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't think the bad future is canon. It makes no sense, because if you get bad future, all it means is that you just gotta do it again. Or the Sonic has to do it again. Cause I know Sonic, like he's not gonna wanna he's not gonna sit by and let Eggman take over. Oh I didn't get the keys. I think I have to actually physically get the keys. There we go. So we got a chaos emerald. We got a key. We gotta go get the other keys. Let's go to Green Hill. There we go. And where's the one for Chemical Plant? Oh, cause see, that's the thing. Anytime you hear Metal Sonic, the bad, the. The Stardust Speedway Bad Future theme plays as that's essentially his theme at this point. So that's why I say it's not because that's canon. I think it's just because it's the more iconic one. Ooh, that song is bringing back chills. Oh yeah, I remember this. Let's face the first true boss of this game.
the death egg. You know what that means. Yeah, we're battling the death egg robot once again. Yeah, remember this? The final boss for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now it's time we have an Now it's time we have a Oh man. Now it's time we have an epic rematch with this robot once again. Alright, we gotta attack it from the back. Interesting fact about that cutscene, it changes. You the cutscene changes to the perspective of the Sonic that you're playing as. So I know like with me, you you saw me do it with classic Sonic, but you could see it through the perspective of modern Sonic if the last so if you enter the boss with modern Sonic. All right, here we are. There, here's that room where the showdown happened the first time. Of course, things have changed a bit. It seems like this time around. You gotta make him hit these bombs. Oh man! Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. So now we gotta attack it from the head. Unlike the last time where hitting it in the body was good enough. Come on. Ah, come on! Ah! Oh my god, it took too long. Or I activated it too early, I should say. Are you kidding? Oh my god. There we go. There we go. With that, that's the end. We defeat the Death Egg Robot once again. I do like the remix for the Death Egg Robot theme again. That theme just goes hard. It's one of the one of the better Eggman themes or boss themes, I should say. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Doubles of us? Places and enemies from our past? We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space. space! How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. <laughs>